today we're going to take a wander around the central market here in Hilo Hilo. Around the market you'll find a lot of different shops and vendors. This first part is what I call the witch doctor stores. I'm sure they have another name, but that's all I call them. It's all the different herbs and treatments that uh, their witch doctors buy. Again, wrong word, sorry, that's what I call it. I'm curious about these apartments though. This one looks like it's, you know, somebody's taking care of it. I would love to get an apartment downtown. How do you find out where to rent them? I don't know if it's the store owners or managers. I don't know who lives in them. I actually wouldn't mind living downtown. But all the way around, you see the big central market there, the main building. All the way around it is a lot of little stalls and shops. Crossing the street here is always fun. Um, there's never really a space. You just kind of go. And they pretty much let you. It, um, it's interesting, but it's not really a problem. I just walk. I'm used to city living. I can cross the street. This traffic isn't bad today anyway. You just go. There's plenty of room in between the cars. Nobody drives that fast anyway. They just act like they do. There are numerous entrances into the main market, but we're going to walk down the sidewalk here and take a look at some of the shops. The outside shops, there's lots of restaurants, there are some local handicrafts. Uh, they kind of group together. There'll be like a number of these little handicraft stores. There'll be a whole section of uniform supplies. The uh, restaurants are just scattered around, also uh, regular sorry sorry stores. But this is kind of the touristy shop section here. A couple more restaurants, like uh, they're everywhere. Tons of places to eat and drink. And here's a part of the uniform section. Around the other side there's more if you're looking for security or police uniforms. I buy my bags and belts there. They have good quality merchandise. Also, there are a lot of like tailors. I've never talked to them to know if they do like full on you know, making clothes. They do a lot of repairs. You can bring bags and stuff here, have zippers put in, and they do a lot of repair work real cheap. They, there's other shops that do the shoe repairs. Here you can get clothing and bags and stuff repaired. There are a few of the vegetable merchants outside. There's not many. Most of that you have to go inside. Central Market's got it's an okay vegetable section, but really the terminal market, which I think we've, we've looked at that one before. The terminal market is better for fruits and vegetables. Central market leans a little heavier towards the meats and dried fish. They do have decent produce here. It just doesn't seem to be as the main focus. Once you get into the dried fish area, it seems like there's more of that than there is produce. Uh, the dried fish comes from either two sides of the island. You can go up to Colossi or over to Estancia. They're both up at the top of the island, just on the east and west sides. And those are real cheap to get the dried fish up there. The cheapest place here in the city is here at the Central Market. Seems like it would be busier on a Friday, but it's already almost 11 in the morning and half the shops are closed. Like the meat department is empty. Look at these empty tables back behind there. I'll get a closer look at those in a minute. But you got to get here like, you know, five, six in the morning and it's a lot busier. Once they sell out for the day, they pack up and go home. I love watching them make lumpia wrappers. I stand here and watch this forever. It's just, you watch them as fast as they got this weird thick dough on their hand. 
And as fast as they put it down, the other guy starts picking it up. They make tons of these. As far as I know, there's no real difference between the yellow and the white other than coloring. It uh, doesn't matter which one you use. It's not like they use one for a particular recipe or another. It just depends on which ones they have. Generally, I see people using the yellow ones. I hardly ever see the white ones, but they make them. It makes me wish they were tortillas, but not even close. The lumpia is like a fried, like a fried egg roll pretty much. Generally they stay pretty organized. They'll have like all the produce in one section. All the meat in one section. Here is the dried fish section and it's a big section. There's always a couple vendors mixed here and there but for the most part they they try to stay organized. Hi my friend. Good day. Okay. How are you? Okay, That's a lot friend. of fish. And this is tons of dried fish. Not sure if you're familiar with dried fish, but you're lucky the smell doesn't come through on the video. It's pretty strong in here. That's a lot of dried fish. The current big thing here is look at the new bathrooms. It was such a big deal when these opened. They actually had the mayor here in a ribbon cutting ceremony. It was a big big deal. They have nice new bathrooms which you wouldn't think is a big deal but here in the Philippines a nice public bathroom is pretty cool. Uh, here you can see the empty tables. They just... I was wondering why it was so empty. It's Friday but I was talking to other people and they go, oh yeah, it's 11 in the morning. They're gone. You got to get here early. I was like, well, I don't get to the city at 6 in the morning. So I've never seen this completely full, but I've also never seen it this empty. This is shockingly empty today. But now maybe everybody in the world can see our market, uh, wet market is very dirty. <laughs> I really enjoy all the markets. Um, yeah, now we're out across the street going the other way. We came out the other side and you've got your hardware section. Again, it's kind of grouped together. They just do that. Most of the markets have about the same stuff. It's just these bigger markets downtown have a lot more of it and you can get better prices. Like all the dried fish that comes from Estancia is cheaper there, but this is the cheapest place in Iloilo to buy it. You get out to the farther markets around like our house and it's too expensive to buy it. So if we need it, we come here. Also come here for my haircuts, because here's the haircut section, which is some of the best haircuts in town. I need to find what's the busiest times that I can actually get here. Maybe we get you some shots when it's full of people. The terminal market seems to do better business. It's where everyone goes for all their fruits and vegetables, and it, it seems to stay busier than the central market. But that was our market here, one of the markets. We'll have to see what else we can find here to look at. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>